Hi everybody, so today we actually have brought Brittany back from our last video. You might recall that she had talked about she's having some neck problems and we've actually been working with Brittany for a while now and um, she's concerned about why is her adjustment not holding as long as she would like it to. So uh, I suggested why don't we do a video about some exercises that people can do at home to make their chiropractic adjustment last longer. So one of the things that we're going to start with is an exercise to combat the fact that we are in a society now where we're always looking down. We're looking at our phones, we're looking at our tablets, even at our desk. We may not be actually looking forward and sitting up right the way we should. We should actually be sitting like this all day, but let's be honest, most of us don't. <laughs> so we're going to do an exercise. Um, Brittany's going to show us how to do this. And um, you guys can add this to your repertoire at home and it'll go a long way. Okay, so we're gonna call Brittany in and we'll be right back. All right, so we have Brittany here on the table. So we're gonna work on an exercise to combat that forward motion we use when we're looking down at our phones, tablets, and computers. So you can see that I have her in an all fours position. And so we're just gonna use gravity and the weight of the actual head to create this muscle balance that's actually going to bring balance to this back side because going forward we've got all this stuff going forward okay so Brittany I'm going to have you go ahead and perform that exercise that I showed you so we're going chin to chest and then as she comes up you'll see that her bar her back is starting to arch and she's coming back 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 and then what she's doing here is she's squeezing squeezing right here and like she mentioned when I was showing her the exercise for this video, she can actually feel that in her abdomen. So we're squeezing for about five seconds and then release and we're taking it back down. And when you go chin to chest, I want you to actually pull that chin into the chest. And then when you're ready, about three seconds later, start coming back up. That back arches and she's gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze right in here. You're gonna feel that stretch in your abdomen you're gonna feel this tighten all the way down to about your mid back. And then we're going down one more time. So everything we do with exercises, we wanna do a set of three and try to hold three to five seconds typically. And come back. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And good. All right, that felt thank good. you. Did it feel good? It did, it, it felt really good. Yeah, and then as you sit up now, do you feel like you have engaged these back muscles and so you feel like this is opening it up It does, more? it does, right yes. here, and especially like, even in my neck. Mm -hmm. So the other thing we want to remember is if we're always coming forward, show me forward, can you imagine that all of this is getting tight? So these muscles are short. So we can make these back muscles strong, but if these muscles are short, they're gonna to continue to try to pull us forward. So what we wanna do now is some exercise that's going to bring this back and pull this pectoral muscle and chest back, back, back. Can you feel that stretch, Brittany? I do. Yeah, because it's, it's not natural to have our chest that open because we're just a society that we have ourselves forward most Guilty. of the time, right? I mean, we're on our phones, we do our business on our phones, much of us. So we're gonna show you an exercise for that. All right, guys, so like we were saying, we wanna open this chest up. So we're actually gonna use a doorway. It's something that you'll have access to, whether you're at work or home or wherever you are. So it's an easy thing for you to like assimilate into your life, okay? So we're gonna bring Brittany in and she's gonna demonstrate this exercise for us, okay? All right. Do I have my legs spread a, pull, spread yep. a little bit apart? Your length? legs, yep, just about shoulder width apart. Okay. And then she's got her hands just about shoulder height, and she's gonna just lean her body forward and feel that chest come forward. Now watch this, bring your head up. Does that change it? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, because we want I don't feel body, as heavy. Yeah, we want this body to think about um, doing these things in head up position because we're kind of retraining that that mind body connection mm -hmm. about how your brain and your muscles are working together so you can see that she held that for about five seconds now we're actually going to change the height on the doorway and go up 
and lean forward. Head up. I'm so used to putting my head down. Uh huh. I can Does really that feel different. Yeah, I can really feel it in my arms. Mm hmm. So the reason we change our um, location on the doorway is because it's going to stretch different aspects of what our our tight muscles pulling you forward. My muscles are very tight from being on my phone constantly like this. Because you work on your phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then you're going to come down. So we're actually going down lower than shoulder height and dropping forward. And again, probably feels in a different location. Mm -hmm. Good. There we go. And then just because... We didn't repeat much um, for the sake of Brittany's day today. I'm going to have her do one more in the middle. All of you guys at home, um, we're keeping the video short for you guys, but all of you guys at home, I would want you to repeat each of them three times. So just remember that you always want to do repetition three times, hold for three to five seconds. So should it be continuous, like one, two, three, one, two, three, or should you take like a break in between? Um, you can actually do it in any way you want. So if you wanted to do three at this level and then up and three at this level and then down and three at this level, or you want to start at the top and work your way down, there's really no right or wrong okay. to how you're actually facilitating those in which, in which motion. Okay, great. So, Good to know. Yeah. Do you have anything to share with people as you were feeling that? I could feel it in my back, like top of my spine, I want to say, mm -hmm. where my shoulders and neck meet my spine, and a lot in my arms. Okay. My body's just very tight from constantly looking down, like you said, on my yeah. back. Yeah, okay. But I even actually felt it a little in my abdomen, too, which I could use. Okay, <laughs> okay, very good. We are going to move on to our next set of exercises. So we are going to talk about how these muscles here are underdeveloped and overdeveloped in some ways because of the way we do our lifestyle now. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are going to show you how to create this neck balance in a way, place, time that is absolutely do it anywhere, anytime. Sitting at a red light is actually one of the things that I like to do because you're just sitting there. And so it's a great time to just make use of some idle time where you're really just captive and you have no nothing else you could be doing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Brittany show you these exercises, but we're basically going to be using our own weight. So your hand is going to be holding strong and your head is pushing in. So the first two would be lateral flexion. And remember, you're always going to want to hold those for five seconds. And then you go to the other side, lateral flexion. So my head's just going ear to shoulder. Excellent. We're going to bring Brittany in so she can show you the rest of them. Come on over, B. All right. So what we're going to do now is rotation. So she's going to take that hand, and then she's going to put it right on that cheekbone. And now you're looking to the left, but you're not letting yourself. You're using this hand to hold yourself. So she's getting some, some muscle strength here and here. You can see this one right here. This is called sternocleidomastoid. See how it pops up there? The function of sternocleidomastoid is rotation to the opposite side. So you can see that function right there. And relax. And then the other side. And now we're going to see this one pop up. Beautiful. See that muscle right there? Brittany actually has a lot of problems with this muscle up here where it inserts into the mastoid in particular, but then again down here as it inserts into the clavicle. So this is a really good exercise for her. When we were practicing, she noted that she could really definitely feel this one, huh? You can stop. There we go. All right. Now, we are used to going chin to chest, but if you think about it, if you're holding your phone in one hand and looking down, to some extent, if you try this, you're looking to the right just a little bit. Or if you're a left-handed phone holder, you're looking to the left just a little bit. So you're not actually creating a flexion in an equal capacity. So we're gonna exercise that equally. So go ahead, Brittany. We're gonna go chin, pr create pressure, and push down. Good, again, we're always holding for three to five seconds. And relax. Again, I'll remind you that each of these you could repeat three times to have maximum efficacy. 
and then we're going to actually have Brittany turn around to show you how to strengthen your back muscles. I'm going to hold this up. So what we're looking for is if you take your hands and you just run like this, you're going to feel this little dip. That is the occiput and you want to be just under that little dip. It kind of gives you a point to grab onto. Go ahead, Brittany. She's going to create pressure here and then her motion is actually to look up at the ceiling and she's pushing on the back, not allowing that to happen. At the same time, she's trying to push up, up to the ceiling. And relax. Excellent, excellent. And let's turn around and face the camera. And what kind of comments do you have as far as how that affected you? I can really feel it the whole in all over my neck, which is where I need it the most. Mm -hmm. I, those are exercises I will definitely be doing at home. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel tense, even though I have neck problems, it didn't hurt. Mm -hmm. It felt good. I could feel the stretch, but I could also feel the resistance because it's so tight in my neck. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something. How many times do you recommend doing these a day? I know repetitions of three, mm -hmm. but how many times a day is overkill or not enough, you know? Because these exercises are so gentle, you can actually do them as often as you want. Great. A pretty doable exercise series. Great. Yeah. 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 yeah it was good. I'll definitely be using all of these at home. Good. So I can hold, as you stated earlier, um, my chiropractic adjustments don't last as long as I want them to. Yeah. So I can't wait till I'm doing these for a while so we can see the difference. Yeah. That'll be great. Yeah. So again, thank you so much for supporting our channel. And if there's anything that you guys would like us to video for you, just let us know and we'll make it happen. Have a great day. When you like and subscribe, it supports our channel and we are so grateful. Thank you to all of you. Mwah.